Hello YouTube, how you doing? It's your boy Joseph, just here with another uh, stock portfolio update. So I've not uplo uploaded any videos in the past um, two weeks, uh, just, you know, life just got the better of me, essentially. Um, however, uh, I definitely said I had to upload something today or tomorrow, uh, just based on the big change in the stock market at the moment, thanks, what I'd say thanks to, well, uh, because of, you know, the coronavirus um, scare. Obviously, it's, uh, that's a big uh, topic at, at the moment in terms of um, it, well, Italy basically, the northern part of Italy. I think there's, uh, I think four people have died from it essentially. So, um, and um, there's a concentration of um, infected people up north or in northern Italy. So, uh, I wish them the best and I hope everything works out basically. And, um, Hopefully we can get this uh, virus contained and um, everyone back in good health and spirits. So with that said, I'm uh, just going to go through my portfolio. I think the last time I did an update was on the 4th of February. So um, I've, to be honest, you've not really missed it that much in the sense that my portfolio is pretty much been... I've not really done anything to it essentially. Um, but here we go anyways. So we got um, we see some dividends from the 4th. Uh, got meaty. I've sold that already. Uh, but I got 0 0.86. Um, bats. I've sold that as well. Um, got 2.03. Um, meaty sold it because to me it was a, it wasn't as good as an investment as I thought. Um, I was as I thought I was getting. I reassessed the stock and um, decided to sell it off basically. Uh, I've still got countryside. Um, potentially I'll take this as, as an opportunity to add to it if it does drop anymore um, got one point one pound uh, 75p you still got Vodafone um, got a dividend of one pound um, 6p um, bought some more BP uh, got a dividend of seven pound 67 from AbV which is pretty good uh, sold yeah, sold HSBC. So this was when HSBC were basically, I think it was a couple of days ago, where they reported uh, restructuring and um, overall, I think they had a big um, operating loss or something like that. Um, but I knew it was going to drop a lot more, so I just sold it. I sold it at a slight loss. I think I sold it at a, uh, maybe 2% loss or something like that. But I didn't really... I think I only have like had like a hundred and something, or oh, I had yeah two hundred and something quid in it. So I lost I lost a couple of quid, um, but I was okay with that essentially because I was it was a position I was looking to leave eventually. Anyways, um, yeah, I just is I think the situation has changed essentially within HSBC and it's not just you know a bank that I trust very much anymore. Um, so Carnival, obviously people seem to be buying into this at the moment, um, good yield, good dividends, um, good value, a decent moat, so bought more of that, bought more page group, more Pfizer, I sold iRobot, uh, sold S&P 500 uh, ETF and a global, sold my global clean energy ETFs. Uh, basically, the clean energy one was up about thirty percent. Wanted to just you know take my lock in my profits. I wasn't going to put any more money into it. Um, S and P five hundred um, was up a bit as well, but essentially, I've got another account where I do invest in just ETFs. So I've kind of moved that from this account to that one. Um, so I'm still investing in S and P five hundred, not just within this portfolio. Uh, Arrowbot. Essentially, I did say I was going to leave the position, so I've just ended up selling everything. Uh, but my focus has been down for quite a bit, um, but I'm just going to be buying into that. Obviously, I'm going to be monitor monitoring the company closely, just uh, in case something happens, which I'm not too happy with. Um, but for now, I'm okay with the where the company is. So... Yeah, as you can see, over the past month... Um, I think today I probably hold on was four. 
Yeah, so over two hundred pound loss today. Oh, not today. Uh, I've lost. I mean, I've lost about yeah two hundred pounds today, to be honest. Um, or maybe just over two hundred pounds. Um, yeah, I've never seen it drop this fast before. Literally, I've seen it go up this fast. <laughs> I've never seen it drop this fast before. So uh, there's definitely a big scare out there. Um, but you know, the thing is, it's not a fate. Well, to a certain degree, there's the population in terms of population affected or that have actually passed away from coronavirus is uh, is two percent. So it's still quite low. And you do have people that recover from the actual virus, so you know um, it's not the end of the world. So eventually, um, this is going to settle down. You know, we build up immunity to it. We probably come with like a vaccine or something, and um, we just go back to the way things were already. So I'm definitely going to be taking this opportunity to invest in companies, maybe like Apple or. Um, you know, might get some more Microsoft um, shares, uh, just along along those lines, basically. Um, See, so yeah, I just run through my portfolio and um, just yeah, you guys um, enjoy the video. So Pfizer <laughs> down ten point one six percent. Going to be buying more of that. Uh, Abvi, Abvi, I think I was I went down two percent or something. Uh, or not seems like okay so that be okay disney obviously went out 4.51 percent um bp down like all the like oil st stocks basically are down essentially because of reduced demand due to you know um china due to the issues in china um oh but that's down quite okay I think this is not updated to be honest um yeah because i was at 28 percent at one point so that's down quite a lot so i think that's not correct from free trade uh 3m i'm down 8.46 percent i'm definitely going to buy more of 3m um actually that's my main focus now is just to buy more of 3m essentially um cisco um i'm gonna try and build up 3m to positions that are similar to abv and disney uh same thing i'm gonna do with cisco as well uh, as long as it stays in the negative um vodafone it's pretty much breaking even um diageo down 3.56 percent obviously the miners are going up gold miners uh Fast fresh fresh Nilo up fourteen point three seven percent. Um Palo Alto uh, is slowly dropping, uh but it's um up three point four one percent. Macro focus biggest loss right now, down twenty seven point five seven five four percent. Um you're just gonna watch that one very closely just to see, you know, what's going on. Um Carnival down 12.55 percent page group down 8.08 percent don't know why that is but i guess it's a global economy type effect um visa still up 12.96 percent s p 500 healthcare etf i'm up 1.05 percent intel up to 25.67 percent microsoft up 23.71 percent also trader still up 3.96 percent highland gold there was a big increase in that i believe let's have a look here past month yeah up 20 percent um pretty good good gains um wish i had more money in it but i don't so yeah i'll just take that i guess smith and nephew looking good as well up 15.08 percent bnm retail value that's down 3.77 percent Red Row looks like I yeah, gained about four percent this month, and okay, I'm pretty sure this thing is not correct. Um, yeah, that's a ten points one one percent up. Um, countryside as well. I actually hope that kind of drops a bit more so I can buy into it a bit more. 
um, then you got emerging markets, which obviously, because of the global, um, well, scare, don't want to call it a panic or anything, um, yeah, you know, markets are down pretty much everywhere, so I'm down 0.13% at the moment, so yeah, this is a quick portfolio update, I'm just letting the guys know what my portfolio is like um, at this time, um, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, as, as of today, uh, I'm up 298 pounds one pence i think the highest the portfolio has been essentially in terms of me being up has been 680 pounds so um we lost about half the value basically uh just over half the value so um yeah roller coaster to stock market so keep riding it guys you know eventually uh, i believe it's gonna go up again so uh, yeah, thanks for watching and um, have a nice evening. Goodbye.